Is the National Assembly Select Committee on Local Government on Monday held a meeting with members of the Land Commission and the Ministry of Local Government and Lands at the National Assembly in Banjul. The meeting was centered on the motus operandi of the Lands Commission, which was said to be ineffective due to limited powers confined on the Commission. More in this report. Disputes over land ownership in the Gambia have the Gambia reached an, have reached an alarming with rate. some ending in classes and loss of lives, while several cases still dark in the courts. It was against this backdrop that the President, Adam Abaro, set up a land commission on the 17th of September 2018 to investigate land disputes. The commission is taxed with looking into the root causes of land disputes, administering and advising the government on the issues of land-related conflicts. Justice Raymond Sock, the chairman of the Lands Commission said his commission has embarked on a nationwide tour and during the tour they advised Gambians on proper land use and planning to avoid disputes. Provision of sufficient land both for residential purposes and attendant social amenities such as hospitals, health centers, markets, schools, mosques, churches, etc. Two, the availability of enough land for agricultural purposes to ensure food security and where possible for export. Three, ensuring there is grazing land for livestock, cattle, sheep, goods, etc. Four, reserving land for the youth for both recreational and entrepreneurial activities. The Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Local Governments and Lands, Boba Sanyan, told the National Assembly Select Committee that his ministry does not adjudicate land matters. However, his ministry enforces cases adjudicated by the courts related to land disputes. Ministry doesn't have the power and the authority to review a court judgment. We can only help the judiciary to enforce a court ruling, but we cannot review a court case. So we always advise them, if you have an issue that is already adjudicated in the court and the judgment passed on, you can only go to a superior court to appeal. That is the only option are left for you but for us we cannot do anything but only to help um, uh, the, 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 affect, the, sorry, the, the, the judiciary to execute the court ruling. The chairman of the National Assembly Select Committee for Local Government and Lands, Honorable Amul Nyasi, said he and his colleagues will endeavor to support the Lands Committee in fulfillment of their mandate. If the Land Commission is instituted I see no reason why you should not be given the support that you need to get you moving in the right direction. The select committee will give you all the support and uh, we will equally consult more with the Local Government Act to be au fait with what your TOR is. And we will also make reference to the provision in the constitution because if this parliament or if this government should see the need to set up a human rights commission and give it all the support that it deserves i don't see any reason why the land commission your operationalization should be in segments the land commission is a five person committee headed by justice raymond sog as the chairperson other members include Buba Bari, Nancy Nyang, Momodu S. Job, and Kemo Conte. The group has an uphill task to find out about the root causes of land-related conflicts and advise the government accordingly on the right approach to develop policies intended at tackling problems arising between communities and among individuals. Reporting for Africa TV, I'm Ibrahim Akebi Sonko. From that report by Ibrahim Sonko, resolution on land conflict continues at the Ministry of Lands.